Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Collegeville, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we are in Collegeville, Pennsylvania today is because we are here at the beautiful Ursinus College. Not, not your sinus as I've been calling it um, 41 years of my life, Ursinus. You guys corrected me last time we were out here. Apparently Ursinus is a species of bear, I think, if I'm not mistaken, which would explain why yeah. the college uses a bear as their, their mascot and their emblem. I, I guess I get it, but anyway, Ursinus College, that's where we are today. And the reason why we are here is to see something pretty interesting, something I am a huge, huge fan of. Not so much many of you guys are a big fan of these videos, don't necessarily do super well, but I do not care because I am a big fan of these. Sean enjoys visiting these as well, and that's what matters, that we enjoy visiting these and seeing these, and they have one here at this college. The reason why we are out here today is to take a look at yet another labyrinth. Oh, we're here to see, yes, another labyrinth indeed that, if I'm not mistaken, resides right next to this building right here. We kind of came off, I think it was 9th Street, parked in the parking lot here, and we're at the Katie Scope, if I'm saying that right, building. I have no idea, but supposedly, I believe right, right in front of us sits a labyrinth. Wait a minute, hold on. So the, the actual stonework completely threw me off. It's not the Katie scope or whatever I said, it's kaleidoscope, the kaleidoscope building. That's where we are right now, the kaleidoscope building. Again, the, come on, the, the stonework on the L, it looked like a T. I can read-ish. So Sean's saying that, I mean, looking at the map, they don't actually list the labyrinth. Number 11 is the kaleidoscope building, which is right there. We are we are right here where that, that bear, the Ursinus Paul Prince is. So again, doesn't actually say where the labyrinth is, but it's right, I believe right here because there's a parking lot we parked in. Again, we're right here. There's a kaleidoscope and right there, I believe is the actual labyrinth. Why the most important thing here on campus is not actually marked, I have no idea. Okay, maybe not the most important thing, but it's a labyrinth, it's, it's pretty important. I'm honestly surprised there aren't more kids on campus. I thought uh, college was back in session at this point. Aren't, aren't colleges opened back up? Aren't kids going back to college by now? I, I thought that was the case. Maybe our sinus hasn't um, opened back up for the, uh, the semester yet. I'm not entirely sure, but the, the campus is actually quite dead right now, which is good for us because then we can do some filming and not be interrupted. By the way, beautiful, amazing campus. Kind of glad there's not a lot of people walking around because you just get to, to see the campus a bit more without it being so incredibly crowded. This place is amazing. This is an absolutely beautiful college. Well, we've got good news and we've got bad news. The good news is we have indeed found the labyrinth we were looking for, so that is awesome. The bad news is the paint has apparently worn off the labyrinth. I saw photos of what this looked like online and the actual the actual bricks, the stones in the ground were, were painted black to actually make the lines of the labyrinth. There's not a single bit of black paint on any of these bricks whatsoever. So you thought the last labyrinth we were at was difficult? Yeah. No, now, now, we, now we really have a challenge. Sean's excited though. He says he wants to try to figure this out. I, I mean, how? I don't even know how we would go about figuring out this labyrinth. There are no lines anywhere. Like I said, online, you found what? Like, it's like, like sort of brownish red. Oh, I, oh, I see what you're saying. So like, like this brick here and like this brick here is a little bit more kind of oddly colored. You can sort of make it out. I see what you're saying. So again, online, I was seeing photos of this labyrinth and apparently these bricks were indeed painted black at one point. Now they are not black anymore. The paint has completely worn off. Why? Nobody has come out here. Why the college hasn't bothered to, to repaint these? I have no idea. I'm assuming we're walking in the correct, we're walking on the correct path at the moment, I think. Anyway, I don't know. This is kind of playing tricks on my eyes right now, which I'm not really happy about. So, I mean, we're, we're gonna figure this out. It's definitely a challenge. The last two labyrinths we've been at have been, have been quite the challenge. This one here though, this is really difficult. This labyrinth was built in 2007, so it's had many years to um, to weather away. I'm just following Sean right now at this point. I'm gonna assume he knows where he's going because I, 
I don't. Again, you kind of can sort of see, again, kind of sort of see where the, uh, where the labyrinth lines used to be. The bricks are slightly like off colored, but just ever so slightly. Yeah, this is definitely more of a challenge than the last labyrinth we were at that was all covered over with grass and the bricks had kind of sunk into the grass and they were, they were just completely gone for the most part. This here just looks like nothing but a whole big giant circle of, of stone. Are we going the right way, Sean? Yeah? I guess so. It really is surprising to me that the college has not maintained this. The fact that nobody has come out here and painted the black lines on the bricks again. That just doesn't really make much sense to me. I get when it's a church, because churches, again, like I said, they, they are very particular in what they spend their money on. They, they have things to, to spend their money on that's more important than the upkeep of a labyrinth. You did it? So again, I understand why, why a church would need to, I think I'm going the right way, why a church would need to be selective about what they spend their money on and not put money back into the labyrinths they once had built. But this is, this is a major college. You, 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 you can't tell me they don't have the money to, to put some paint on the ground. I mean, how much could that, how much could that really cost a college? It is. <laughs> you make a really good point. So the whole purpose of a, of a labyrinth is to, 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 to cal be, be at one with yourself and to, like he said, like cal calm down and to yeah. just to, just, just the whole calming feel feeling of walking in a labyrinth, the tranquility of walking in a labyrinth. But then this labyrinth, there's nothing but <laughs> make, make you angry. It's, it's confusing. It's, it aggravates you. This is the most aggravating labyrinth in the world. This labyrinth is the exact opposite of what a labyrinth should be and what a labyrinth should do. I'm almost done. Yeah. Am I going the right way? Yeah, you are. Apparently, I don't even know how. I don't even know how I'm figuring this out, but supposedly I am figuring this out. Is this it right here? Yeah. Yep. I found the... I have found the center of the labyrinth. I honestly, I honestly don't know how I did that. I think I was just walking in circles and it just looked like I was going the right way, right? I don't know either. Sean wants to reverse now walk the, the labyrinth. So once again, we have to figure this out for a, for a second time. I'm looking at you or Sinus College. I just, can, can you bring somebody out here just to paint some lines on the bricks? I'm sure you get plenty of money. This school, again, is, is beautiful, it's amazing. The upkeep of the grounds is fantastic. There's all kinds of really cool art features here, all kinds of statues and different installations like that. It's really, really awesome. This, this college is just amazing and it's beautiful and it's just a really fantastic place. I love it here. So the fact that they just can't put the, I don't know, a few hundred bucks or whatever it's gonna cost to, to put some paint on the ground, I don't get it. So as you can probably hear in the background, they're actually doing some groundskeeping. They've been mowing this whole area. The interesting thing is we've seen them mow the same spots multiple times in a row. So I don't really want to call anybody out. I don't want the grounds people to, to get angry at me, but um, just want to say, or sinus, if you're watching, I think maybe you might be overpaying your, your groundskeepers, your lawn mowers. Maybe pay them a little bit less to not mow the same areas 47 times put some of that money into painting the labyrinth. So your, your students can come out here, they can, they can walk around, they can have some peace and tranquility. They can, you know, the, the, the semester's getting to them, the, the finals are driving them nuts or their homework's making them go crazy. They can come out here, they can walk the labyrinth, they can take a few deep breaths and be at one with themselves and be happy. Instead of coming out here and having no idea what's going on, and being completely aggravated by the fact that um, you, you, you have no clue where you're going. Okay, so before we leave, before we head out of here, Sean wants to try the labyrinth one more time. And I'm gonna actually try it myself one more time. I'm gonna really look at the ground. Cause again, you kind of, me go first? Oh so then, no. You know what you're doing. If I start going the wrong way, you have to yell at me. You have to tell me I'm going the wrong way. So okay. like I said, you, you can kind of see, I, I, don't know if you, I don't know if it's coming out on camera because you can sort of see that this row right here and this row right here, are slightly different colored because at one point they've been painted. What's the trick? Every, every line has four lines. Like oh, there's four bricks in one, two, three, four line, one, two, three, four line. I see what you're saying, okay. So if you pay really, really close attention, you can kind of see. The problem is, is that after you've been looking at the grounds for just like all of two minutes, 
it, it, they all look kind of the same. Your, your eyes start to play tricks on you. It gets very confusing. Like, see, like right now, like I, I turn this corner and I have to let my eyes sort of focus again to kind of get my bearings and figure out where I am. But I, I, I can kind of see line, one, two, three, four, line. I, I can kind of sort of make it out. Again, some black paint would really help, but you can kind of sort of make it out if you, you really, really try. But again, if you're being, you know, being stressed out, feeling stressed out by, by the semester and your, your term paper and whatnot, I don't think this is gonna help. Sean was telling me he's very impressed by how well I'm doing. He said I was doing very well. And he also said that we're just about at the end, right? Is this the end here? We did, we did it. Okay. So it can be done. Before I was, I, I honestly was just kind of walking. I think, I don't think I was on the correct paths the first time I did this. Sean did it though. And this time I actually paid attention and I figured it out. So, so it can, it can be done. It's not easy, but it can be done. Again though, just a couple of coats of black paint would make, would make this much easier and much more fun. So I don't know, maybe from this angle, you guys can kind of see the difference in the bricks. There's a, a line right there, a line right there, a line there, a line there, but it's very, very faint, very difficult to tell the difference between this brick here and this brick here. But there is a, a very slight difference. My assumption is maybe at one point when these were painted black, the black paint kept these from fading as much as these. So maybe these bricks are just more faded from the sunlight than the bricks that were, were covered in the black paint. I don't know, maybe that's why they look the way they do. I'm not sure, but I'm also kind of surprised that there's no remnants of the actual black paint whatsoever. None of the black paint remains. So my assumption is they must've came out here and power washed this at some point, taking all the black paint off. Because you would think that even if this had just weathered, and over time, people from walking on it, there would still be some remains of the paint, but there is nothing here. So this must have been power washed at some point. Why they never came back out here and repainted the bricks, I don't know, but I'm gonna hold out hope. I'm gonna say that since they probably did power wash this at one point to clean it and maybe make it looking better, maybe they're actually gonna come out here and repaint this at some point. Maybe, let's say next year, I can come back out here or maybe in a couple of months from now, I can come back out here and see this in its former glory, repainted. I'm hoping anyway. All right, guys, but with that, I think we are done here at the Ursinus College Labyrinth, or lack thereof, Ursinus College Labyrinth. This was definitely a challenge. I thought the previous labyrinth we were at was a challenge. That one was actually easier to figure out than this one. The, the other one, again, it was difficult because a lot of the bricks had grown over with with grass and whatnot, and they were sunk down into the grass. This one is confusing because it looks like just a bunch of brick, a big circle of, of brick. It's very difficult to figure out. It's right there, I'm like, I don't see anything but a giant brick platform. That's what it looks like, a giant, Sean said, a giant brick platform. But I assure you, this is a labyrinth. At one point, it was a pretty amazing looking labyrinth. Again, photos I saw online, this looks very clean and pristine, and it's painted amazingly well. I'm really hoping they put some money back into this and they repaint it. And if they do repaint this, we'll come back out here, we'll check it out. But all right guys, that is gonna do it. So if you've ever been to the Ursinus College Labyrinth, leave your comments down below. When you were here, was this actually painted properly? Was this a lot easier to, to figure out? If it was, I wanna hear from you guys, but again, that's gonna do it. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show. They keep the show going. They bring us out to interesting places like labyrinths that are more aggravating than they are, I don't know, calming. But still, leave the comments down below. Check down below for Patreon. Check down below for Spreadshirt. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, hashtag... What? That's it? Just, just hashtag what? Yeah. All right, just hashtag... If you guys watch this video all the way to the very end, just hashtag what? All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will definitely see you tomorrow. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.